So one more thing let's do with this operator. So we're getting accustomed to these operators and uh, they can, this permutation operators can also act on operators themselves. So, that, that's important. So, consider the action on operators. So, for example, an operator B that acts belonging to the linear operators on V when acting on V tensor V, we define two operators, B1 and B2. And you define them in an obvious way, like B1 acting on UI1 tensor U j2. Okay, b is an operator that knows how to act on every vector on the vector space capital V. So when you say 1, you see meaning that this operator acts on the first Hilbert space. So this is equal to b times ui1 tensor uj Two. So it just acts on the first state. How does it act? Via B, that is an operator, in the vector space V. Similarly, if you have B2 of Ui tensor Uj2, you have Ui1 tensor B U J 2 okay so these are operators that act either on the first state or in the second state so the permutation operators can do things to these operators as well so we can ask a question, what is P21 B, should I start with one? Yes, one. P21 dagger. Remember when you ask how an operator acts on an operator, you always have the operator that you're acting with come from the left and from the right. That is the natural way in which an operator acts on an operator. You can think of this thing as uh, your operator is being acted upon as having surrounded by a ket and a bra. And then when the states transform, one transforms with u, one transforms with u dagger. So always the action on an operator is with a u and a u dagger. So, if you ask how does the permutation operator act on B, you don't ask generally how is, what's the product of P times B. You ask this question. This is the question that may have a nice answer. Then we'll see that there's other ways of doing this. So we want to investigate this operator. So what I can do is let it act UI uj so what do we get we get p21 b1 now p21 dagger uh, we saw that it's her mission anyway so uh, it's just p21 and now it acts on ui1 um, I'll put a J here, and U, I, 2. So I let act the P2, 1 on that state, and that moves the I's and the J's. Now B1 
acts on the first Hilbert space. So now we have P21 and we have B UJ1 and uh, tensor UI2. Now, P21 is supposed to put the second state in position one and the first state in position two. So this is UI1, B UJ2. I could put this thing, B U J2. And then you see, oh, this term is here. So this is nothing else than B2 acting on the same state, uh, the UI, UJ. Which means, I guess I could use this blackboard, that P21, B1, P21 dagger, is B2. So it has moved you. The operator used to act on the first particle. Two and one changes the first particle with the second. It moved it into the other one. Similarly, uh, you could do this also. Would not be a surprise to you that P21, B2, P21 dagger is equal to B1. And you don't have to do the same argument again. You could multiply this equation by P21 from the left and P21 dagger from the right. These things become one and one and the operators remain on the other side and gives you this. So, this second equation comes directly from the first. You don't have to go through the arguments. So what is the use of this thing? Uh, you may have a Hamiltonian, and you want to understand what it means to have a symmetric Hamiltonian. And the, these operators allow you to do that. So um, for example, you may have an operator, O12. What is an operator O12? It's an operator built on things that act on one or act on two. So if you want to imagine it, it could be an O that depends on the operator A acting on the first label an operator B acting on the second label, an operator C on the first label, an operator D on the second label. Uh, could be a very complicated product of those operators acting on all kinds of labels. Now, suppose you act with P21, O, 1, 2, P21 dagger. Now, the great advantage of having a P and a P dagger acting on a string of operators is that it is the same as having a P and a P dagger acting on each one. Remember, if you have like P and P dagger and it's a unitary operator on A, B, C, it's the same as P, A, P dagger. P, A, B, P dagger. P, C, P dagger. It's like acting on each one. So when you have this P21, P21 dagger acting on this, it's as if each one of those is surrounded by a P21, P21 dagger. So each label one will become a label two. And each label two will become a label one. And therefore, this operation is going to give you O, Two, one. For an arbitrary operator acting on these two labels. Now, it may happen that the operator 
is symmetric if O is symmetric. By that we mean O21 is equal to O12. If that happens, if that happens, then from this equation you would have P21 O12. P21 dagger is O12 is itself. And you could multiply by a P21 from the right, giving you P21 O12 equal O12. You're multiplying by a P21 from the right that cancels this P21 dagger, P21. And there you see that an operator is symmetric if it commutes with the permutation operator. So if O is symmetric, this is true, and this is true, and then finally, P21 with O12 commutator is zero. Oops, too low. <laughs> Can you see it? Oh, it's a commutator, it's zero. So that's uh, basically how you manipulate these operators on this Hilbert space.